Hi, this is Lori Papel. This is for my next project, which is the advanced level. And this time we are working on an ostrich egg. Please see my beginner Pisanki video if you need help with the basics. The ostrich egg you're looking at has been cleaned. The shine has been taken off. I used the Works Toilet Bowl Cleaner to remove any dirt and also the shine from the egg. Check out my How to Clean and Prepare an Ostrich Egg video on my channel. I've made my base lines on the ostrich egg. And next, I decided on this band here that I would take the baseline and measure out an inch and I just walked my tape measure and kept measuring out an inch. On this side I will have a cameo and on this side I will be working on some bands. So using my baselines on this side I again measured out one inch top, bottom, and sides. Now I'm taking my tape measure. I am measuring out a quarter inch or you can do a half inch or even an eighth of an inch. all the way around and then continue making these markings. So I'm framing this diamond shape and in doing so I'm making a band. I will be making mini bands Okay, there's my first band, and as I said, I will continue this all on this side of the egg. Here I have all my bands marked off. Here are some ideas on how I will fill in the bands. Sometimes I have a clear cut plan. Other times, I just go with the flow. Feel free to use some of these ideas or use your own ideas instead. You can find many written designs in PDF format on my website, lauripopow.com. As you can see, I have many choices to choose from. At this point, I am working on this band, and I'm putting my um, curly Q scroll in here. It's getting time for me to work on this area and figure out what's going to be here. I've made more divisions 
for more designs. And on our bands here, I have finally decided that my first band will be a fourth inch band. My next one will be an eighth and then another eighth inch band. The next one was, is going to be a half inch band and then again a fourth inch and so forth. This is uh, the suit I'm following on this so it'll be uniform. But at this point because I'm working so much on the pencil lines and, and setting things up. It's time now that I start to apply my wax to seal in my guidelines. And then I can work from there. If I don't start putting on the wax, they're going to be uh, wiped off from so much use. So much moving around and touching the egg. I'm working on my design and I wanted to mention that many times when we have thinner lines and like for the curly cues, if ever you feel that your lines are not straight or they don't take the uh, curve right or they look wobbly, I, I will take my wax and just make circles around or dots and when you're making the dots make sure that you do go in a circle don't just go like this go ahead and make your circle so that you have nice uniform circles or dots Another thing I wanted to mention is that when working with the uh, ostrich eggs, they have little pits and pit marks in there, just tiny little marks in there. And if you can see, I'll put my kiska down in a second here. There are little black marks all on my egg. These are my pencil marks. These are um, where the graphite has gotten into the little pit marks. So after I am finished working with my bands, getting all my guideline bands, I'm going to go ahead and take the egg and put it in the works toilet bowl cleaner to etch out these little black marks from the graphite from my uh, pencil. Because my egg is so large, I am using a, a little bean bag pillow to hold it in place for me instead of me trying to hold it in place. So these are just some little tips I wanted to bring up. I've been working on the guidelines in the bands and as I mentioned I was going to uh, put the egg in the works to clean off the graphite from my pencil. Because I'm working on this egg and there's so much that I'm uh, doing, I'm handling it and moving it this way and that way. Sometimes the wax will come off from all of this uh, touching and so forth. So now that the egg is clean, it's time to look over all my marks to see if there are any areas like this one here where the wax has come off. I will just take my uh, uh, Kiska and reapply the wax in this area. I always try to remember to go over and look at my uh, egg and my lines before I put it in the dye. I am using a uh, number one tip for all these thin lines 
And for the areas where I'm filling in, I'm using number two tip. I will continue to look for for the areas that uh, need to be rewaxed, and then I will be getting ready to put in designs in my little spaces here, also on this band, and then on this side I have something special planned. I finished all my waxing, all my white areas, all the designs and all the guidelines that I want to remain white. I will be using the basic colors, yellow, orange, green, blue, reds, and the final color will be black. But as you can see, I have many hours of work just with the white, where I sealed in the white. Now, this is just this side and then the sides with the bands. Here's my front side. What I want to do here is I want to outline my flowers in a light brown. So before I do anything else, I'm going to put my egg into a plastic bag of brown dye. I've dyed the egg yellow. Now it's time to finish with some of my details. And this is what I will be doing from now on is either making more details in the design. At this time, I'm making these little yellow uh, circles. I will also be filling in areas. So with each color that I dye the egg, from this point, I will be either adding more details or filling in. My next color will probably be orange and then the reds. Then I will clean the egg and I will continue with the greens and the blues. Of course, while working on the egg, I may decide to go from a dark color then to a lighter color. I will be able to do this by cleaning the dyes off and starting again with another color. When I do this cleaning back and forth, I will put the shell into vinegar before the next dye bath. Okay, time for me to fill in some areas here. I will continue with the work on the yellow and then the egg will be put into the orange and I will continue this with all the colors. Since the egg was yellow, in some of the areas, I want to have just a hint of yellow, plus other colors. Say with the wheat here, I took um, a Q-tip and dipped in uh, brown dye and extended the brown out a little bit and then made little uh, lines and waxed over this. Also, I wanted a little bit of yellow on my leaves, so I went ahead and took some green dye and put on the leaves and the stems and was still able to keep some of my yellow. I think I will do that with the red in the flower too because I, I would like a little bit of yellow in here. All the yellow areas have been waxed in and I've dyed the egg orange. Now it's time to begin waxing all the orange areas. I finished with all the areas that I wanted to apply the wax to the orange. We have some netting here and some more lines in here.
So now I have dyed the egg red. This is the first red color. It's, go it's a lighter red. And I will also be using a darker red. I finished waxing in all my red areas. I've dyed the egg a lighter red and a brighter red and a darker red. So all my reds are done. And I have cleaned the egg off. So now I will put the egg in a, a blue, a light blue. I have areas in here that I want to be blue. And then my next colors will be a light green and a dark green. And then the final color will be black. At this time that the egg is cleaned off is a good time to look over my work to make sure that None of the wax has peeled off from all the work that I've been doing and moving the egg and, and so forth. I have finished all my green areas. Here I have some leaves. And I have green in, in these spaces also. And then on this band. And on this band. After I did all my green, I knew I wanted to come back and put a little bit of orange in, in certain areas. And with the orange dye, we can always take our eggs and uh, if we've dyed them blue or green and we want to uh, go to orange or red, we can put the egg into the orange dye and the orange will clean off the blues and greens and reds even. Because I wanted this to come out a nice bright orange, I did wash off or clean off the top part because this is basically where I want to put the uh, uh, little bit of orange. I want to put a little bit of orange in between the leaves here. And the leaves on, on this side too. I'm getting ready to put the egg into the last dye, which will be black. However, many times when working on uh, the eggs, we find that here, the netting or the hatch work, many times these areas don't take the dyes as well. The dyes don't get in between these little uh, wax marks. My friend, Luba, explains that the problem is from surface tension, and she's found a solution. And the solution is taking the egg and putting it in a uh, baggie or a bowl filled with rubbing alcohol. Just enough to get it wet to break up this tension. And after that, the dyes will take beautifully. The rubbing alcohol will not damage the wax or disturb anything uh, uh, with the dyes. As you can see, the final dye... The black is taken beautifully, and especially in all the hatch work or the netting areas. This is a fairly large egg.
Now it's time for me to remove all the wax to see all the beautiful colors and the designs and artwork. But first I'm going to rub the egg with olive oil. Olive oil helps the wax come off smoother. As you can see, the wax has been removed. And now we can see all of our beautiful designs. At this time, I need to varnish the egg. I will probably put a few coats of varnish on the egg. 